The next morning saw an impromptu training session at the beach under Michael Taylor. They still didn't know who their next opponent would be, but the preparation had begun for what was to be a testing week leading up to the preliminary final. With the stakes so high, football matters dominated the week, with big concerns over full forward Tony Modra, who left the track early on the Tuesday night. The opponent was to be Essendon. The march to the MCG was a blur. It was a huge crowd, the biggest the Crows had ever encountered. They'd come a long way in 1993, but that afternoon's journey was to be the longest of them all. A vacant spot there. Wren won the first tap out of the centre. Denham's quick kick will probably get the job to tag McGuinness. Visca gets uh, a kick away for Adelaide. half forward, smart in the box seat. Went with one hand. Grinvold on him. Smart from 55 metres. Centering kick to the goal square. Not a bad one. Hodges sets himself. Chance for lip tack. First goal round the body. Looks good. Great start. It's the start the Crows wanted. Goes with Smart this time, Somerville. Missed her by Modra. McGuinness over the top. Grenvold taps it out. Bickley. Jarman's got good hands normally. Lip tack to Brown. Left foot snap kick. A good one by Brown. A goal. A great goal. So the Crows bounce back. Stops, props, handball, puts pressure on Grenvold. Gee, Wilderman had him for a while. Play on call. Bickley in the pocket. Does he run out of play? Still in there. Here's Brown's already kicked one. Left foot snap. Another great goal. And it was Ben Hart who eventually got the possession, but McDermott and Visca both worked hard. Jarman, he's kicked towards the half forward. Wonderland couldn't take the mark. Essendon fans appealing for the free kick. No, look at this man. Nigel Smart, handball over the top. Is it all right? Modra, unselfishly, Smart will get the goal. Renshaw, handball wide for Long, backs himself. Oh, yes, that Hills was standing on the mark, and now this is his man they pass the ball to. Good kick, excellent kick, and a magnificent mark taken by Tony Modra. Tony Modra, 158 marks for the season. Well, he's a chance to kick a goal from here. A definite chance, a brilliant kick as a goal. In towards the 50 metre line, it goes her back. Lip tap, run on son. No, he couldn't quite control the football. Neither could Nigel Smart. Chance for Modra, kick it, he does. And he gets another goal. Has he? Yes! A second bounce. Gets very close to the man. Long kick, Hodges sets himself and takes a beauty. The ball got there, Bruce. Won't this be a handy lead? Another one. The Crows led by 17 points at quarter time, and it just got better. Mercedes on centre wing. Kick in towards kick it. Oh, fire at the back was Ben Hart. Oh, brilliant mark, Robbo. He's kicked too high. Paul Hill drops what he should have taken. Brown. Nigel Smart runs inside 50. And I think he may have kicked the goal. He has. Danaher tries to crash through. Jarman breaks a tackle. Left foot pass to Modra. Magnificent. Ooh, very very nice Fletcher. That'll be 50 metres against Fletcher also. Modra from the goal square. Straight through. Yes, and it'd be a long time since Essendon have kicked a goal, I would think. 20-minute mark of the first quarter. There's a mark taken by Pittman outside 50 metres to give the Crows another chance. Looks like Salmon may be on the ball at the moment, Robbo. Pittman... Right up from fullback, taking that mark. Followed Salmon up there. Looks for Modra. Oh, that was too easy. Too easy. That was just too easy. I think Dustin kicking from 35 metres directly in front. And it's another Adelaide goal. He's done all right, Wiedemann. Not a lot of finesse, but competitive. He's kicked to about 30 metres. Oh, right! Yeah! First half remaining. Rashudo took it off. Anderson got it from Wren. Anderson's probing kick to the goal square. Hurt getting back. Goal! It's a goal! Adelaide went into half time leading by 42 points. Had it been a grand final, they would have started printing the t shirts. It was a joyous break. The fans celebrating a seven goal lead, but match winning it wasn't. Essendon came out and said about what was to be 
one of the great comebacks. Especially when you're only 20 metres from goal. Buick going for his third. Drop punt. He's got it. They're coming home here, the Bombers. Charging back into this preliminary final. Fourth time out of the centre in this term. Jarman. Well played. Maynard. Wiedemann. Short. Somebody on the end of it. Wigney gets there. Fills the spot. He kick from 45 metres out. Drop punt. It's close. I think he might get it. It's a goal. 23 points is the advantage, so Paul Salmon can bring it back to 17. And he does just that. In fact, by the final change, they'd brought it back to just 12 points. Kevin Sheedy could sense a miracle. 1993 for both sides had come down to one quarter of football. So you would nearly write this down for a goal. He's got it. Scores a level. McDermott against the flow court. Gets the handball away. Maynard gives it to Long. Long stages. Watson important. O'Donnell should go. Goes and puts it through. The Bombers are in front. Kick. Ken James heard kick a goal this time. Looks pretty good. He's happy with it. Set a half back for Adelaide. Very important possession. Watson's got it. Watson goes for goal. In the long history of this great game, to be seven goals behind at half time. That's it. The dressing room told the story, so close, but Adelaide's dreams of an AFL grand final would have to wait. Essendon won the game by 11 points. They would play Carlton in the grand final. What's more, they would go on and become premiers. We just couldn't, for the life of us, get hold of the ball for 10 or 15 minutes and just stem the flow. I mean, just break it up, chip, hold onto the ball for a little while. We just couldn't do it. And I'll never, f look, it'll always stay with me until I know me, personally, not just me, but the team, it will stay with the club until they can rectify the problem, and that's to win the grand final. That's the only way you're going to get rid of it. And I've been through that situation before. And it stays with you and it eats you away. And, and the lads are very, the lads that played in that game are very, very dejected in that. And it's still eating away at them. Well, I guess we struggle to explain why we lost. But, I mean, now it's, it's over and done with. You can't dwell on it. While it hurts, you've got to say, well, ultimately we weren't good enough to win it on the day. We're no more new kids on the block or any of that rubbish. We, we know we're there and uh, we've got to go one more step. 1994, goals become a raising the memory of 93 and there's only one way to do it. And we've got to play in a grand final and win it next year and we have the basis to do it, we have the stability to do it, we have the players to do it. So why shouldn't you do it? And it all comes down to the individual's mental preparation and motivation and desire to do it. And if we have that, and I'm sure we will, then we'll have a good year next year.